hello 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 my name is Charmaine and welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how to upload fonts or upload an image from Creative Fabrica to Cricut if you're doing a rhinestone template okay so let's go ahead and open up Creative Fabrica um I go right here and just put in rhinestone Okay, and then push, push, enter. They have all kinds of different things you can do with rhinestones. Um, you can, you can do like the making the um, vinyl wrap with rhinestone um, tumblers. You can do create them, all kinds of stuff, but I don't do the wrap yet. I haven't really looked in there. But let's try, let's go ahead and do the font first. Basically, rhinestone font is the, is right here, it's basically um, modern DIY rhinestone. And it'll tell you if it's fonts. Right here, it says in fonts. Here it says in fonts, so be careful. Make sure it says in fonts because some of these are not fonts. Um, and let me show you it. I'm, let me see. I know this one is a font because I ordered it, I got this one already. So I click on that one, and right here it says you already downloaded. So that's good because I didn't know that they had this in here until I checked it out before a couple days ago. I was like, oh, it's good because I've been downloading stuff that I was like, and I already have it. Okay, so I'm not gonna down. I'm gonna download it anyway, just so I can show you how easy it is to um download it. Um, so this is a font, and then you basically looking for TTF font templates for um rhinestones. Okay, so make sure it's TTF. If it's not TTF, it's not gonna work. Okay, so basically, also when you check out for anything, images or font, you have to basically look and see um if it tell you what size it's gonna be, if you're gonna use what stones you're gonna use. Okay, so basically, um for the font. Uh, let's see. You can look at the different pictures and see if that's the size you want. If you want the uppercase and lowercase, and it tell you if you have all that in there. This is just the all. It just is gonna just give you all, uh, 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 capital letters, and then it give you these numbers and stuff. Okay, and this is the bold. I like bold because when you're doing stuff, you, it'd be really big to make something really easy on Cricut. Okay, so um, it tells you right here. Uh. Use any rhinestone size you want to create the words in seconds. So fonts are different from 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 um images. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Okay, so this is the font that I'm gonna go ahead and download. So first thing I do is click this right here. Click it. I already downloaded it, so it's, it's I'm just not gonna and it's right here. So what I do is I click on this to minimize that, bringing this out here to my desktop. Okay, the only thing I do is click on it, and then you just um. You go to the one that says TTF, click on it, and that's all you do. And then you just push. I'm going to push skip because I don't want to replace. I already have it. So right here, it'll say download. So you just push download, and then it'll go right to your Cricut or to, and to your silhouette. But make sure your Cricut and silhouette are closed. They have to be both closed or it will not work, okay? So close your Cricut out. Close your silhouette. Or close whatever um, design space you use and close it out. So then you just go ahead and push print. I mean, you push um, download and it'll download it, and it's that easy. It's that easy, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because I don't I already have it. I'm going to go ahead and delete these because I already have it, okay? I already have it in my in my system. So that's how easy it is to download files. And I'm going to show you all that in a minute, how it looks after I um go after I, uh, and you see right here is letter RS04. That's how it's going to be saved in my Cricut, okay? So remember RS04. And that's how I'm gonna find it in my cricket when I go in there. But I'm gonna first I'm gonna show you something else before I go on cricket, okay? Go back to create um Fabrica. I'm gonna go back and see what else we can find just to download real quick. I love Create Fabrica. Check the link, click on the link below so you can go ahead and get um um use my affiliate and you can get um I think it's a month for um four dollars. I don't know if the price went up or not, but I'm not sure. So right here it just says rhinestone, but it's not a font. I don't believe this is a font. Let's see. Let me lie. Let's see. Oh, new script, handwritten font. Oh, it is a font. Oh, that's pretty. That must be something new because I didn't see this one. So it says new script handwriting. So let's just see. Um, if no, this is not TT. Um, it's supposed to be TTF. So this is not a rhinestone. It says rhinestone font. Hmm, but it's not because you don't see the holes. Usually, when you see a rhinestone font, it'll have um, it'll have like the holes in it. Okay. So do not get this one. 
Rhinestone is a charming. It, this is just the name of the font. It's called Rhinestone font. And it's cursive. But it would not work for your rhinestones. It make sure it says TTF, okay? So this is not gonna work. So I'm glad I chose this so you want so you can see that this is not a rhinestone font, okay? So um well, this is a pretty little this is a pretty little image. Um I'm gonna just scroll through some of this stuff because I have a lot of favorites. Let me show you my favorites, y'all. Because I have a lot of favorites in my um that I already purchased. I, I purchased this and see it right here. It tells you what size. I think I'm a did I, I didn't download this, I don't think. So right here it says um book guide, right? It have rhinestones right here is, is uh size 10. So make sure you have that. Make sure it has the size on here. Right here, the size is here is nine point something. This is right here, but nine point something by six point eight. If it does not have the size on there, do not order it because it would not work. Unless you gotta find call the um person who made it and figure out the size because you have to have the size. So when you go to Cricut, you basically download this to Cricut. I mean download this to your computer, okay, or wherever you want to download it to. Then you upload it in Cricut. And if you're using size 10 um stones, you have to make sure this image is going to be a 6.8 by 9.8. I don't know what size that is. It should tell you down here. Let's see. Um No, it don't tell you. If I click on it. I don't know why it's, it's basically blocking it. So you really need to know that size right there. And it should tell you the size down here, but it's not it's not telling you. But it might it might tell me if, if I download. So let me go ahead and download it because I didn't download this yet. So I'm gonna download this and see if it's gonna tell me the, the, the exact size. I'm gonna go ahead and um minimize that and bring it over here to my um thing, my um desktop. Close it out. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this because I don't need this anymore. I already bought those. And I'm gonna open this up. And you think here it also has the instructions. A lot of times when you buy stuff off of Etsy, I mean, yeah, off of Etsy, it will have the instructions. And that's the best ones to buy, the ones that have the instructions. And then the ones on Creative Fabric are good to buy too because it tells you the size. But here it doesn't it tell you the instructions, but it's tell you on that paper what size you're going to use it for. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, use this and I'm going to just look at how it looks when I go to Cricut in a minute. So I know this is right here because you're going to make sure you use the SVG, okay? That's the one you use if you put it in the, if you send it to Cricut. This is the PNG and this is how it looks. But you can't use the PNG, you have to use the SVG. So I'm gonna use this as an example when I get ready to go to Cricut and see if it's gonna tell us um what size to use. Sometimes it tells you in Cricut what size to use too. But if you don't have the size, um you can see if it downloads to the right size. It's a lot of different ways to do these templates. This is crazy how this is not showing you right here what the size is. Um, because if it's not the correct size, it's not gonna work. And usually down here in the description, especially on Etsy, Etsy do tell you what size because i believe me i i downloaded a, um image here from um from creative fabric and i couldn't use it because i don't want to waste my flock because it might not work because the size did not tell you what size it is so sometimes just check it out because creative fabrica there's a lot of free stuff on here well you still make it pay your membership but it's um people i guess they just put anything they want some people i'm not saying everybody do but you just gotta check out check it out okay it's doing all these are doing this why is it doing this now it's showing you um it's black and the dog on numbers you can see what the numbers are when you looking at it like this right here so see how it is um curry i mean carry it is um 6.73 by 9.64 so um i'm gonna go back and see if it's gonna be showing it show me right see right here it shows you right here so just before you click on it look at the numbers <laughs> look at the size so you know um, jesus take the wheel i think i got this one okay um it's 9.25 by 9.72 you have to um use that size so okay i did order this one right here i did download this to my computer so i'm gonna go ahead and write this the size down and um and after you print it once you gotta worry about printing it again i mean as far as cutting it out on your, on your um cricket so usually when i put in cricket i put the size down on my cricket so i can just know what size it is and i'll show you that in a minute too so now i put that on there so i know that's the size for that. So I can use this one. So I'm gonna go back and find the one I used before that I found and I couldn't I couldn't figure out the size. I'm gonna come back and look at look for it. This is good too because this um this um pattern template design is really good for silhouette. Okay. And silhouette, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not silhouette. And cricket, when you want to make your own designs, if you're not gonna use the font from here, if you're not gonna use the um a TTF fonts, you can make your own designs by using this. A template in Cricut. Now in Silhouette, Silhouette already have a template pattern. You know, you can go into Silhouette and make your own patterns, your own templates through Silhouette. 
but you cannot do that in Cricut unless you have if you unless you make up your own template like this and you basically put um your images inside this box and that's what makes your holes okay unless you want to put a hole each hole by itself but in silhouette it's different it's so much easier because they have a they have a um a, a demand or a, a a way to make template rhinestone templates in silhouette and then Cricut, you have to have this. So this is good. Somebody put this on here so you can have this to make it for Cricut, okay? So if you want to make your own templates, rhinestone templates in Cricut, and not use the um, TT fonts in here, you put you go ahead and download this. But if you don't want to make your own templates, it's like you want to make a purse or a heart or something like that, this is what you use. You basically put the heart right here in the middle of this um, uh, this this pattern, and then you I guess you I think you um flatten it or something or i can't remember how to do it but you basically use this to have make your your holes but you don't need this for silhouette silhouette all you have the demand you can do that and you can, everything you need in silhouette okay there's a lot of videos on youtube on how to make them um, get on templates i'm learning how to do it so when i learn how to do it i bring it to you on how to do it but i would not be doing it on cricket because it's just too much <laughs> too much work to do it on cricket i'm gonna go ahead and do it on silhouette and then you can make it into a svg on silhouette and then you bring it to cricket okay but you have to have the business edition for your silhouette okay all righty so let me go back to um fine let me see i like this uh let me just show you how this looks by it's a it's a lot it's a it's way more templates than this one day i was just running through it this is not the right um i don't know where i'm at but it's so many templates you can use for um for for uh let me see rhinestone let me put it in here again this it's like thousands and thousands of rhinestone templates i was looking through here the other day just trying to get all the ones i can get download on my on my uh on my page i mean on my computer let me see let me go ahead and see what's this is so you put rhinestone templates uh and then you look at this all these are rhinestone templates, y'all. And I just went through here. I just went through here. And I just kept on going, kept on going. And I just downloaded so many on my <laughs> on my desktop, y'all. I'm going to show y'all my folder, too. But all these, there's so many of them. I mean, it's going to keep on going. It's going to keep on going. So I'm just showing you. See, if then once you see, I thought it was over with. When I get to the bottom of the page, I thought it was over with. No, it's not. It's not It's not over. It's, it's more and more and more. It's like over a thousand in fonts, okay? And you can just keep on downloading them on your computer, okay? And it, it won't stop. You see, it's, it's still going. Okay, so make to just show y'all um Creative Fabrica is the bomb. If you go to Etsy, you have to basically um buy each and every one of these fonts from Etsy. Each one of them you have to buy buy it, okay? But here, oh this is nice. I think I'm gonna get this one from my mother. Um but from here, um you can just download as many as you want. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. You know why? Because I can use this for my I can do this for my mother for Mother's Day. Okay. So, um, this is, um, SS10, and this is, it tell you right here the size, but you see, this one came out really good. Whoever designed this, they know that this right here is in the way, so they know that this, this is how you do it, okay? So, make sure you see the size, and you see the, um, the width. So, you got to make sure this is how it's going to look in your, you got to put this down for Cricut. So, I'm going to use this design today, and then today, I'm going to show you how to download and set your, get your settings ready in Cricut, and then my next video, it'll be, um, how it's going to look after I get it from Cricut and then I'm going to put the beads on, I mean the stones on it and then I'm going to heat press it, okay? So this video is just showing you the different images in Creative Fabrica and I'm going to also show you my settings, what I use to get my holes right for the Cricut, okay? So let me just write this down so I know, because I don't know if it's going to show me in my instructions. Like I said, if you buy stuff from Etsy, it'll tell you the instructions and it'll tell you everything you need to know in your instructions, but right here, it shows you right here on the um on the page, okay? So bless Nana, and, and you can. And this is this. This it has um the color. This is like silver, but you can use whatever color you want, okay. And you can also make this a diff, two different colors because um I'll show you that in my next video because you don't have to have it all the same color. You can make this a different color, okay. Um, by how you take it out the um printer, how you take it out your Cricut, how you cut it from your Cricut, okay. Okay, so we'll go ahead and download this so you see how fast this is to download. Just like everything else. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and minimize this screen. And then I'll pull this over here. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and close this out and I'm gonna show you my stuff that I've been uh, man I've been buying 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 this is my rhinestone template and this is all the files I've been buying y'all oh my goodness I mean <clears throat> I just get them off of creative creative fabric put in a little folder and go on by my day okay so I'm gonna close this back up I'm gonna go ahead and just throw this in here so I can know it's in my rhinestone mm -hmm. template um and which one but God is in here too okay so that's in there okay so let's go to um cricket here's my cricket i'm gonna look, upload both of them just to see how it looks first of all i'm going to show you this is my cricket and i'm gonna go ahead and go to new project right here then i'm going to upload right here and see all my look i've been working i've been working i've been working 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 so these are all my templates and i've cut all most of these out i'll show you on my video um when i'm live i can show you how, how they look but you can check out my last video I made. I did show y'all all the templates. Um, my last live I did, go and check out that live and it'll tell you all the templates that I made. It'll show you how it looks from after I cut it out the Cricut on my flock, okay? Okay, so let me go ahead and upload image. Browse. And I'm going to go to my desktop. And I'm going to go find my, temp my rhinestone templates in alphabetical order. Right here. And then uh, what did I say? I was going to do Bless Nana. So you open it up. And right here, see, bless. Now they don't have the instructions on here either. Okay, so I'm just going. But usually, if the instructions on here, you have to look at it outside of Cricut. You can't look at the instructions inside of Cricut. So you basically look at the desktop first. Then you, then you um look at the instructions. Then you come into Cricut, and then you come in here. Okay, because it wouldn't open the instructions in here. Only thing that open is the SVG. Okay, so I go ahead and open that, and see right here, it doesn't tell you. And I don't like this because it has the black, the black background. But you can still take it off. I'm gonna show y'all that in, in that too. So right here, you see, it doesn't have the the, the uh, size. So I would have had to go way back to um create a fabric to find the size. So this video, I hope this video will help you because this is saving you steps. Okay, I'm gonna just save it. I'm gonna upload that right here. It's gonna be right here. Okay. So uh, with that being said, let me just go ahead and minimize this. And let me show you the ones I find out for um. Now the ones I find off of um Etsy is different from um Chris uh Creative Fabrica. Let me find something I found off of Etsy that I bought off of Etsy. Um did I this one? Okay, so this is what I bought off of Etsy. And you can see all this stuff comes with it, okay? And right here it has the instructions. So since I'm on my desktop, I can open my instructions and read them. But if I was in silo, if I was in uh, in, um, create, uh, cricket, I would not be able to open it. So make sure you open it out here first, and then um, the instructions, and then you go to uh, cricket. So see right here it tells you step by step what you need. So it says please. Um, let me see. First step: adjust the design, size it, indicated below, and then then you um the second step you ungroup it, the design, and then you can um move it wait so you can move each layer okay if you have a silhouette machine then you use silhouette file the silhouette studio file um if you have a cricket you use the svg file adjust the size indicated below for ss10 designs okay so this is what you do this tell you how many colors you need for the, how many rhinestones you need by t um, 10 ss you need this many for silver do you need this many for pink and, but you can also change your color. You don't have to have the same color, but it's just telling you how many stones you need, okay? And then that picture, it'll show you the color of the picture and stuff on the, um, in, 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 um, Cricut, okay? Adjust to verify, adjust, I mean, let's we'll say just or verify the size for the template and make sure it's this size. It has to be this size or it would not work, okay? So that's why I was telling you, if you in Creative Fabric, you got to make sure you had the right size or it's not going to work. So see how when you do buy it from Etsy, it gives, most of the people that make the, um, the templates in Etsy, it gives you these instructions, okay? So this is wonderful. And then it, it tells you how to do it in Silhouette um, um, Studio. It tells you to get to the different files. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. So right here, this is the um, um, SVG. And see how it got different colors in there? And then uh, for Silhouette, it will be... Uh, instructions. Silhouette right here, okay? And this also gives you a mock-up how it looks. This is good, too. It's a PNG mock-up, so you PNG, you can open this up. This is a mock-up, and then if you um you can mock this up, and you can put this on a shirt, um and mock it up because this background will be white. So you can download this to uh you can download this to Silhouette Canva, and you can make a mock-up off of this because this is how it's gonna be. If you want to change the color, you can't do that, but this is how you want to sell this. You can put it on the shirt. Let me know if you can do a video on how you how to mock up a um image on um create it um. Canva with rhinestones, okay? 
All righty, but only way you have to do it with the size, the color that you, but you could change this she, this she could be a different color, this certified CEO could be different colors, but this is the only way you can mock it up from using this um image is by doing it like this, okay, with this color, okay, so it's a lot to learn, okay, so this is all, this is all, I got this from Etsy, and this is what you get when you buy stuff from Etsy most of the time, okay, so let me go ahead and go to Cricut, and let me show you how it's going to look. So let me go ahead. This is my first time doing one with the background. I think this is the first one I've done with the background. Let me go ahead and add to Canva. You do not want to print this with the, with the background on here. Let's see if this one works, okay? Okay, here it is. So the size for Bless Nana, it said it had to be um, 8 by 4, 8.48. So let's see what it, what it came into. See, it came too big. Um, so you want to, they said first you want to um, make, I don't know if you're supposed to take this off first. <laughs> let's see. This is the basic cut. I'm gonna see if I take this off first. See now it took the background off, okay? So then I'm gonna go ahead and um highlight this. Okay. Cause the background is basically I get the background to show you how it looks because it's white. And white or white, you really can't see it, so they put the background on it so you better see it, I guess. I don't know why they do that. So now it tells me I need to have it to be um eight point four. Eight, and then it's got to be. Is that the right? This might be the wrong. Nine point eight three. So there it is. Okay, this is how it needs to be. To the reason why that size had to be like that because this is for SS ten um stones. If it wasn't this size, your stones would not fit. Okay, but this is how it's going. This is the size it needs to be. Let me see. Still let me get the whole thing. Um, let's see if I can push attached. See if that works. See, make it, make it. Nope, it's just, oh, there we go. See, I learned something today with y'all. <laughs> you have to attach it, Charmaine. Attach it. See, because when you buy the one from Etsy, they don't tell you to attach it. They just tell you to ungroup it, and then they tell you to print it. So, create a Fabrica. You basically get your images, and you attach it, okay? Okay, so then I'm going to show you. This is a 12 by 12 mat. It's fitting. Y'all, it's really tight. But it's fitting. Um, And it's going to, it says it's in the little, in the, as long as it's in the real lines, it's good. Okay. So I'm, I'm not going to print this out today. I'm just going to show you my printing set, um, settings. Okay. I'm going to push continue. Oh, I have my rhinestone template already made, but I'm going to show you how I made this rhinestone template. This template is not in Cricut. Okay. Most people, when they first started out, they were just doing like paper, what are they doing, cardstock paper settings or whatever. There is a cardstock paper setting in here, but you don't know how to do that anymore, y'all. You can make your own settings, okay? Let's go to Browse Materials right here. And you go all the way down to the bottom, and you see that, um, if you will see there's no rhinestone tip in here. It's in here now because I made one, but I'm going to make another one just to show y'all how I made it, okay? So I'm going to go to, go to Material Settings right here. And then you go all the way to the bottom. It's a lot of materials, y'all. Add new material. And I'm just gonna put um I'm gonna put I can put rhinestone too, because I'm gonna just delete it because I already have my rhinestone that I want in here. And I just want to show y'all how I did it. So rhinestone two. And then I'm gonna go ahead and push save. And then it brings it, it brings it up here because it's in alphabetical order here's my rhinestone template right here that i've made this you see it's 300 and then i have my um this is what i have this is what i've done i do 300 so now i have to, to make your your um speed i guess it's the speed right yeah um the so you just go ahead and go to 300 okay 300 this is what i use this works for me okay okay come on 300 then I put my um my blade off and I um what is it not this not blade what is this um oh just trace I do it one time I, I sometimes people do it twice as far as cutting it twice no I just cut it once so I got that off and then I have it five I have it on um point um fine point blade okay and put it three hundred then you go ahead and put I'm gonna just leave it at three on one but it's, I want this is gonna mess okay you need to do it like this too y'all. 300. <laughs> my fingernails and let me do it. So I'm 300. And I'm going to go ahead and push save. Okay. So now when you're looking for your template, it's, you go, basically, this is how this is all the templates, right? So you just go and look for it. 
in alphabetical order. Rhinestone. Right here, rhinestone two. This is what I just did, okay? And it has this is my settings. And then let me show you um show you what it means because I forgot what it means. Right here, tell you right here, material name, the cut pressure, okay? So my our material was a rhinestone two, the cut pressure was three hundred, the multi cut is one, it's none, it's off. I turned it off, okay? And then the blade type is the um the um fine point. So that's what we did, okay? So we went on ahead and did that setting. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go to is it a save on here or something? Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. But I'm gonna click on the one that I already made, okay? Because I don't want to mess up my settings. So um um rhinestones, where is it at? Right, right here. This is my rhinestone template. So I click on it. It's already in here. It's it's uh, it's already saved in here. So that's why not click on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to here. And here it is. So basically, what I did was I went ahead and just flagged it. And I put the um little flag there, and that's what happened. Or you can go to like right here, brow um browse templates, and here's the ones I had. Let me see. So I'm still, what is this? This under. It's under it should be under others if you want to look for it. Iron. Let's iron on this leather. This is my materials. Okay, so these are the ones I made, and see how I do. When you, when you want to go ahead and flag it. To put it in favorites, you go ahead and click it, okay? That's what I did for the other one. So I clicked it on there. So this is my material. This is what I made, okay? So I put it, I went ahead and pushed the green, the green flag, and then you do that, it'll bring you to your um your set base materials right here in front. So you don't gotta worry about looking for them, you gotta search, you don't gotta browse materials, it's all here. I these is what I this is what I use all the time. So I use all these, and that's what I just leave it there so I don't have to worry about looking through that whole material thing, okay. So this is it for this part of the video. Um, basically, um, after you do that, you just go to um, click on it, and then it tell you um, pressure. I just say more, okay. I push more, and then you just basically push the um. You go to your machine and you do the rest of this stuff, okay. So make sure you put on more pressure instead of cutting it twice. I just put on more pressure. And what this is what I do basically. I get my flock. I take the backing off the, the white backing off the flock, and I put it on my cutting mat. Most people keep their white backing on, their paper backing on, so it won't leave your mat a mess. But this is what works for me. I tried to put the paper on there, keep it on there, and it didn't cut right. Now when I do 300, and um, I put more pressure on there, and I cut it once, it basically cuts perfect, okay? And all my holes are cut, and I don't have to worry about it, because I yank it off the um, mat, and all the holes stay on the mat. That's how you're supposed to do it. And you basically just scrape it off with your little scraper. The whole little tiny holes you just scrape it off with the little scraper, and it works good for me. This is what I do. You might want to use the paper, but I tried to use the paper, and that didn't that didn't cut good for me. And I might if I would have put more pressure on it, then it would have cut better. But I just do it the way I do it, and that's how I do it. <laughs> I just do it the way I do it, and that's how I do it. Okay, I want to cancel this. Are you sure you want to cancel this? Yes. So now I'm gonna show you. Um, cancel. Go back to my. I'm gonna go back to the um to my screen. I'm gonna go ahead and just. Um, I'm gonna save this because I'm gonna do this for my mother later. So I'm just going ahead and just save it because it's already ready. It's already sized and everything for me. Let me make sure to set the size. Oh, the size went up again. What happened to the size? And that's not that's see, that's why it wasn't fitting on that. Um, you have to be got to be careful. This is not the right size. It has to be um eight point four eight. No, 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 that's why. It's supposed to be this. I had it backwards. The width is 9.83. And the height, it's always smaller than the width, is um 8.48. Okay. Enter. I've been having problems with my, my crickets freezing. So there it is. This is right, 8.93. Yeah, so this is how it looks, okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, it, it, the, the size changed. I don't know what happened. Oh, when I... Probably when I um flattened it or when I, when I when I attached it. Let me see how it looks now. That's the right size. It should be smaller because that one way the other one's way too big. See, yes, this is the size. <laughs> the other one was, I was like, why is it so big? It wasn't no eleven. This is max eleven by uh eleven by twelve by twelve. So I was like, why is it so big? So it, something happened when I in the middle of me uh sending it over here. 
So uh, it's still it's still attached. And this is the size supposed to be. And you can move it around in, on here if you want to. You can move it around, okay? But um, you just make sure it's the right size. It, it tell you to make it. So this is the right size, okay? All righty. Go ahead and cancel that. Okay, and it's still, it should still be the same size. Yes, I'm going to save this size um, so I can be able to use it for my mother's shirt for her for Mother's Day. Okay, so now let's go back to, I'm going to just go ahead and just go to new because I want to show you all how the font looked. Okay, so first you got to do is go ahead and push the word text. And I'm going to put in the word mom. Just make it simple. Okay, now what you need to do is just um, uh, highlight this word mom. Okay, and then you go into your font, Cricut font. I'm going to go to my system because all the ones that I downloaded is in my system. And I remember what number I told you I ever find? It was RSO4, I think. RSO4. So it tells you everything, the fonts right here. It should be um system. I bookmark mines too. I, that's what I do. I bookmark mines. It's, it's an alphabetical art order. I'll just put it in here right here. Okay. It's going to take me a while to find it. So I'm going to put in R S O four. What was it y'all? R S S R S O four. R S. Well, I big, I bookmark mine. So let me see. I'm going to go to Reese. I'm going to go to bookmark. And it's, and I know it's on uh, here. Go R S O four. I don't know why they didn't work. Okay. This is R S O four. I don't know why it didn't go. Maybe let me try it again. Okay, book. Let me try it again. System. R S O four. There we go. I don't know what happened before. My my cricket be acting up. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and click on that because it is the one I bookmarked. It's the one I just got off of Creative Fabrica. Click on it. Come to your screen. Look there. You have it. Okay, there you have it. And see it how it doesn't matter how big or how small you make these. See how the circles stay the same. Those circles are not the size are not, the size the size of the circles is not moving. So with the font you can you can make them whatever you want, the size you want. But with the designs that's already created, you cannot do that. Okay, you cannot do that. Okay, so this is how it looks. Okay, isn't that nice? So it's a whole whole it's a whole complicated thing you can do when you want to make an image. For um Etsy, so remember that diagram I showed you that we had all them squares and stuff. It's in create and that's in Creative Fabrica. You can basically get this that diagram thing and you basically put it right here and then you get an image and then you put it on there and then it cuts it out into circles. Like if you have an open image, like a circle or something like that. Let me show y'all. You get a shape like this. See how this shape don't have any holes in it. But if you get that diagram I showed you earlier yeah, and you put this shape and you basically um put the shape. I mean that um that diagram behind this circle, then you I think you attach it and you uh, slice it or something like that, and then you slice it and then it'll come out the circles that be in here, the little tiny circles that be here. Then you'll be able to make a circle design with these little tiny circles in there. Okay, something like this. You put it in like you put it together and you basically slice it and these dots will be in this circle. Okay, yeah, I hope you understand. What I'm saying you know what slicing it. You know, all that slicing and stuff, you know, you're doing cricket. But silhouette, you don't need all that. <laughs> silhouette has a, uh, I can show y'all silhouette too. This video will be long, y'all. I can show you how silhouette already have a template already there waiting for you to go ahead and just do it, okay? So I think that's all I wanted you to see in cricket. I showed you how to do a design. Um, I show you how to upload your, um, t uh, your font. There's your font. Um, and then that's it for cricket, okay? So let me go ahead and show you how to do a silhouette. Silhouette, I really can't show you everything. This is the design I just made. I just, I got my heat press on right now. I'm about to sublimate this. <laughs> so it's just sitting here waiting for me to get sublimated. My heat press is almost, oh, it's got a long way to go. I'm sitting here doing this video and waiting for my heat press to um, heat up so I can go ahead and sublimate this on a shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and go to, um, I'm going to add another picture, okay? So basically, um, I can show y'all something really, really quick with silhouette. You get the, you get you a little um. I'm gonna put mom in this one. Okay, then I basically I gotta remember if I can remember it, everything how I do it. Then you go to font right here, and then you go to the thickest font, which is Arial Black, I think, or Arial Bold. Is it? Uh, I've been practicing, y'all. 
Okay, there that is. Then I can just change this. Um, I'm gonna change this to black. Okay, and then um, I can. Now you got to size it first. And then let me see if I can remember, y'all. I highlight this, and then I go to my um, my uh, this little symbol right here is like a little. It's like a box, but it says open rhinestone panel. And here we go. Okay. So then, see, this is the rhinestone panel. Cricut does not have a rhinestone panel, okay? So you basically, um, you can go ahead and do the first, if you want to do the radio, radio fill. That's how it looks. See, you got a lot of work you got to do with this. So I don't want to do the radio fill. Then you go click it back. You can make this a little bit bigger. So a lot of steps you have to do to make this uh, um, SVG. It's not this easy, okay? It's other ways you got you to get in there. You got to do a lot of stuff to work with it. But I'm just showing you this basic just the beginning of how you got to do it. Just so you know that this is a uh, rhinestone template uh, right here in Etsy, okay? Make sure you have it on 10S because you're going to be using the 10SS files. I mean, um, B stones. I'll put 10 right here. That's the size. And then I'm going to go ahead and push um, this right here. This is the one it says linear fill. You press that one. Now that's better, okay? But you still see stuff right here. You got these spaces right here. So you got to go, it's a whole lot you got to do to fix these M's, okay? You basically go into release comp, you go to release rhinestone, you click on that, and you can just move these rhinestones around. I'm not doing that today. Or you can either go to the spacing, and let's see how it looks when you spa different spaces. Oh, that looks real good, okay? So I went up a little bit for the, the spacing. Hold on, that's about it. So the spacing, you go up and down, and see how it looks, okay? Um, And then right here, it's almost done. You could, what you need to do now, you could just basically um copy this right here, and then you can just um, we'll duplicate some more circles, and you can add some right here, add some right here, add some right here, and, and this will be done. But that's kind of these. This spacing is kind of close. I don't know if Cricut can cut so close, but I, it probably will. Like I said, I'm not. I'm new to this, so I'm just showing you how it looks. Um, so you can just do different spaces, okay? And I'm using a 10s, so that that'll work. You just gotta add, or you can did. Mm, if you delete these two off. You gotta just click on them and then move them because you have to release the um rhinestone. You have to you can just take these off, but I think that it'd be better if you add the circles to that. Okay, so I'm not I'm not a designer yet, y'all. I'm just showing y'all a little bit what I've been learning. Okay, so I'm not this as far as I'm going with silhouette. Okay, and then after you finish after you fix it, you go to um file, and then you go to save as, and you save it on your hard drive, right? And then right here, you put in what it is, and you also put down what size you want. Make sure you know, after you get the whole thing down, make sure you know what size it is. You got to have the exact size you save it as. You got to have that size. So you better put that size that you saved it as in Cricut. I mean, in Cricut, okay? And then you have to have the business edition, and then you go to save as PNG. I mean, I'm sorry. You save it as SVG, and you're done. Then you basically download it to your computer, and you download it to Cricut, Okay? But I'm not going to say it because I'm not done with this. This is not done. This has got some work to do. I mean, not that much work to do. Um, and I'm like I said, I'm not a designer, so I don't know if this is too close for comfort. I'm at to fix it up. You got to do like the um, release path. You got to do a lot of different things in here. Um, release rhinestones is another thing you got to do too. Let me see. So uh, you got to ungroup and you got to convert. It's a couple of things you have to do to make it a rhinestone template, okay? All righty, y'all. This video is over with, okay? Any questions, please put them down below, and I can try to answer as much as I can. Please check out my Etsy page, Charming Girl Boutique. Check out Creative Fabric. Go ahead and um, click that link below so you can be able to get, download as many files. Not even if you don't do rhinestone, you can do anything else. You can just download it from uh, Creative Fabric. Also, check out my TikTok. Um, the link is below. And my Instagram. I've been doing a lot of little videos on that. Like I said, my next video will be on me showing you how the... Cricut cuts out the rhinestone. Okay, that's the next video I'll be doing, and um, and I will show you how to put the stones in the um the the flock in the template, and then I will put heat on the shirt. But also check out my last video, my live I did, um, and check out the little oopsie I made. Uh, it was a mess, but I still got that shirt done. The shirt was pretty. My my uh <laughs> my heat press went out. Oh, I, I had a ooh, I was frustrated, y'all. So check out that video and tell me what you think. Uh, Till next time. Be blessed.